Are you thirsty? I am. We're at PG Park. It's Miller Life Thursday, which can only mean two things. Great baseball and colorful people. I'm here with Blake, who just sang the national anthem, and may I say, sang it very, very well. Blake, how old are you? Ten. How did you learn how to sing like that? Um, I have tra- I've been training with Kathleen Vandevier for two years. A ten-year-old that can sing the national anthem better than most adults can sing it is pretty special. How, do you, how did you learn the song, and how did you remember all the words? Um, well, my dad is a soccer coach for... Um, Lake Ridge, and he asked me if I wanted to sing the national anthem. So I sang at a lot of his playoffs game, and then we found out about this. So. All right, folks, we had two PGE dogs, which are jumbo dogs, a bag of peanuts, and two adult pops. What do you think, about 30, 40 bucks, what you're used to paying at the park? Uh uh. 1550 at PG Park on Middle Life Thursdays. Now that is a heck of a value. Another return guest to PD Exposed, fellow South Dakotan and friend Chris Metz. I'm the assistant general manager, and uh, we try to take care of the Beavers, take care of all the baseball operations uh, with that job, and try to get the fans out to the stadium. So tonight the Beer Garden's packed. Why is that? Well, it's uh, Miller Lite Thursday, and uh, most people know that Thursdays are the, the night to be out at PGE Park, uh, especially when the weather's uh, nice like it is now, the weather's cooperating a little bit more, and uh, throughout the summer, Thursdays will be a big hit. To get more information on how to get tickets to your events? PortlandBeavers.com. PGE Park has a website too, right? PGE Park.com. Or PortlandTimbers.com if you want to come out and see some soccer. Stuff going on at PGE Park. You guys, check it out. Come on down to PGE Park. I'm here with one of Mike's buddies. Her name is Heather. And Heather, where are you from? Um, Originally Tillamook, Oregon. We're going to take you back about four years back in the beer garden. We asked a couple questions to some people. So we're going to see just how much people watch PD Exposed because the answers are already out on these. The first couple to be shown in bed together on television. Oh, no. Uh, Laverne and Shirley? They weren't lesbians. Are you sure? Well, no, I'm not, actually. I feel like they were close. Um, That's great. Drawn a blank. Fred and Wilma Flintstone. They're animated. Okay, 70% of all women prefer this over sex. What is this? Um, dinner. It's chocolate. Or. What song best describes you? What's your theme song? I'm going to say, because I grew up in Tillamook, I'm going to say Boondocks by Little Big Town. I was born and raised in a small town. All right, your favorite summer activity? All of the festivals down on the rear <laughs> Rose Gar- or, uh, r- riverfront. I'm sorry, I've had a few beers. We're down in the beer garden, PG Park, Thursday night. Who was the first couple to be shown in bed together on television? <laughs> no, I, no, no clue. Mickey Mouse and Minnie. <laughs> Dude, they never hooked up. <laughs> oh, man, I did. It's actually Fred and Wilma Flintstone. Was it really? Yeah. 70% of all women prefer this over sex. What is this? Chocolate. You know, dude, you got it! Whoa! <laughs> if you had a theme song about your life, what would it be? Feel free to break out in song. I don't want to go up. I just want to be a Toys R Us kid. <laughs> What's your favorite summer activity, Gary? Baseball. Nice answer. And beer. Another great night at PG Park. We promised you good baseball. We delivered. We promised you colorful people. We definitely delivered. You guys, check out PG Park. Thursday nights are awesome, but every night's awesome. PG Park's a great time for you and for the family.